Hey guys, this is going to be the last video of this year. So we thought why not do a fun video. So let's begin. So most of the chemical engineers are very proud of their degrees. Why? Because it's the highest paying job. And this fact is bolstered by uh, many websites that suggest that chemical engineering is number 2 on the paying scale, number 3 etc. It's always in the top 10. So this video is about 3 richest chemical engineers who did something very great in their life. So we hope that this video gives you motivation to do something of your own. And this is just a fun video. We have added a couple of fun facts about them and uh, without further ado let's begin. At number 3 we have Jim Radcliffe whose net worth is about 18.7 billion US dollars. He graduated from the University of Birmingham with a degree in chemical engineering in 1974 and after working in industry at Cotols and ESO, he was headhunted by a private equity group, Advent International. This job inspired him into doing something for himself. He began looking for investment opportunities and in 1992, he led a buyout of a chemical business from BP along with his business partner John Hollywood. Despite having two young sons by this time, Radcliffe risked everything to succeed. After mortgaging his house, he plowed every penny into the deal. He said it was his critical path of his career because if it went wrong, he had lost everything, including his money and his career. After a year of deliberating, his wife and family agreed to take the risk together. He founded the Ineos Chemical Group in 1998, of which he still owns about two-thirds of the equity. And this company has a turnover of about 80 billion US dollars. The London-based company produces everything from synthetic oil and plastics, which is used to make uh, and several antibiotics and uh, medications like insulin. He has become the largest player in UK shale sector after entering the market in 2014. Radcliffe has owned two super yachts, Hampshire and Hampshire 2, which cost about 100 million dollars each. At number 2, we have Charles Cook, whose net worth is about 44.9 billion US dollars. Cook was educated at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and he received a Bachelor of Science in General Engineering in 1957. Further received two Master of Science degrees in Nuclear Engineering and in Chemical Engineering by 1960. His focus was on ways to refine oil. After college, Koch started work at the Arthur de Little Inc. and in 1961, he moved back to Wichita to join his father's business Rock Island Oil and Refining Company. After he became the president of the company in 1967, he renamed the firm Coke Industry in honor of his father. Since then, he has expanded the scope of his business to several domains and he has founded several organizations as well. His brother David Coke, who had the same network as Charles Coke, passed away in 2019. He maintains the family house in Wichita where he owns a large estate with a tennis court on the same compound. He does also own other homes across the United States including an Aspen estate, a condo in Vail and a vacation house at the Vintage Club, an ultra exclusive resort near Indian Wells. At number 1, we have Mukesh Ambani who has a net worth of 76.5 billion US dollars. Mukesh Dhirubhai Ambani is the chairman, managing director and largest shareholder of Reliance Industries Limited. He received his BE degree in chemical engineering from Institute of Chemical Technology in Mumbai. In 1981, he started to help his father Dhirubhai Ambani run his family business Reliance Industries Limited. By the time, he had already expanded so it had dealt with refining and petrochemicals. Business had expanded to many domains since. He lives in Antilla, a private 27 story building in Mumbai, which was valued at US dollar 1 billion and was the most expensive private residence in the world 
at the time it was built. The building requires a staff of 600 for maintenance and it includes three helipads, a 160 car garage, a private movie theater, swimming pool and a fitness center. In 2007, he gifted his wife a 60 million Airbus A319 for her 44th birthday which was customized to include a living room, bedroom, satellite television, Wi-Fi, sky bar, jacuzzi and an office. So like we said this was going to be our last video of this year and we are going to bring more cool stuff uh, the next year and uh, have a great happy new year guys and if you are watching this in 2021 we definitely hope this year is going better than this year 2020 yeah so don't forget to like share and subscribe do visit our instagram page the link is in the description box below thank you but uh, what we thought is <laughs> <laughs>